Uh, hello and welcome and uh, thanks for checking out my video. In this video here I want to cover how to use your LP5 DSM transmitter to uh, use it as a buddy box. Um, I've had good luck with this with uh, my DX7 and several people in teaching them how to fly with a Super Cub. So anyway, here we go. You're going to need a uh, Phillips screwdriver, a uh, pair of wire cutters. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to flip, the back, flip it over to the back. Go ahead and open her up. I already took the liberty of loosening these screws. Make a little faster. There's one, two, three, and four. Lift the back cover off. Careful, the screws are going to fall out when you set it down. All right, now you see a mess of, mess of wires here. and All kinds of things. A little intimidating, isn't it? No, it's not that bad. Anyway, here, is, here we go. So you want this connector right here. We're going to go ahead and pull them off. Okay, and feed it back through here. You see there's four wires. You really only want two of these. So you're going to want to go ahead and separate the wires here. And you want this black one. A little snippy snippy. And then on the other side of the connector there's a red wire. Go ahead and undo that one. Okay. And go ahead and I like to get rid of the excess wire also you don't want it to short out for any reason in here so let's go ahead and undo that and once we get down in here I just cut it as short as I can that's good and there's the black. <clears throat> I had to take the red off. If you want, you know, some people like to snip off the extra. Some some say it's easier to untwist. I don't know. Personal preference. Okay, so there we go. Pull this one. I like to pull it to a pull it tight. And you, I don't know if you can see this, but the black wire is up in here. So I'm gonna cut this one to a different length, just for the odd chance they might happen to touch. And there you go, there you have it. So I'll get rid of that piece of wire and bring this connector back around. It really only fits in there one way. Well, you can see, but there's a groove right here that fits right inside. And you just press it in. Alright, it's as simple as that. Now I can go ahead and reinstall the cover. There we go. My other screws back in. Uh, there, and tighten them on up. And these are just, well, I'm pretty snug. I'm going to be careful not to strip them out. Um, I'm sure there's some particular order you're supposed to do this in, but you know what? I'm not, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't think it really matters, to tell you the truth. And then last but not least, here we go. Alright, so there you go. Now you're ready to hook this to uh, another Spectrum or Futaba JR radio and uh, go ahead and have some fun and teach somebody how to fly. Thanks for watching.